In a pool of dripping blood, white text appears and reads Maryland Campaign. A class in a museum, white text reads Present Day, Hubbard's Ferry, 2012. Okay class, the Maryland Campaign is best known for the Battle of Antietam, and not so much for the, the Siege of Hubbard's Ferry. So I want you to walk around the museum and see if you see anything interesting, and I want you to write down three facts about the siege. So you can go ahead and start looking. Two students in front of an old photograph that resembles one of the students. Gunner! Is that you in that picture? No, that's not. Gunner fades in and out. What's going on? I, I don't know. I don't know. No, no. He gets sucked into the photograph. Outside, Gunner appears on a blanket on the ground. He walks over to an army tent. White Tech Streets, Frederick, Maryland, early September 1862. Hey, hey, where am I? Who are you? Hello? A sleeping person rolls over but doesn't acknowledge Gunner. He continues walking. In a tent, three men point to various spots on a map. White text reads General Lee's headquarters. Text identifies Generals Lee, Longstreet, and Jackson. Gunner enters. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Lee? Gentlemen, we have brought this war to the north. As you know, our Virginia farmers need to harvest their crops and take care of their farms. Our soldiers need food, clothes, and shoes. Longstreet? Yes, if we can win a victory, then it could change the war. Maybe Maryland will join the Confederacy and Europe will get involved. Jackson? We know now that the Yankee garrison has not pulled out of Harper's Ferry. They've threatened our rear, our supplies, and our communications. And you trained your troops at Harper's Ferry last year, so you should know the best way to get around and capture the place. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I'll give you two-thirds of my army. Let's sit down and figure this out. Gunner runs off. Did I see what I think I just saw? Might as well stay with these guys for a while and see what happens. I'll just hitch a ride in this wagon. A map shows Gunner's location as he rides from Frederick to Harper's Ferry. Four Confederate soldiers in a field. White text reads, Schoolhouse Ridge, September 1862. They set up camp as Gunner watches from the wagon. White text identifies General Jackson and Lieutenant. Well, gentlemen, everyone is in place. We have surrounded Harper's Ferry. McWalls is on Maryland Heights and Walker is on Bowden Heights. Now we just need to coordinate with them. Lieutenant, get the signal flags. Yes, sir. Wow, it seems like the siege will begin soon. In case I stop being invisible, I'll put on this jacket. I want to blend in. Gunner puts on a Confederate jacket. Gunner watches as soldiers put a man on a stretcher. This boy's been shot badly in the leg. Let's get him to the rear quickly. Suddenly, the museum. White text reads Harper's Ferry back in present day. Gunner is still wearing the jacket. Gunner, where did you go? You just seem to vanish into that picture. Our men, you would never believe where I just went, but we gotta and go. And where did you get that jacket? You would never believe it, but we gotta go first. Okay, let's go then. Two students in a park ranger at Antietam Battlefield. White text reads Antietam later that day. Yes! Excuse me, sir. We found this on the bus. We were thinking it could be from your museum. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. The students display the jacket. It appears to be a Confederate jacket, but this is much too new to be from the war. Why don't you head on down to our museum to see if there's anything down there that might resemble us? Okay, thank Thanks. you. In an exhibit, a mural of soldiers on the battlefield. Here, let me wear this. A student puts on the jacket. Get a better look at it too when we do this. Hmm. Could be wearing something like this. They point to soldiers in the mural. He's wearing it. What about these guys up here? Yeah. The student in the jacket gets sucked into the mural. What's going on? White text on a black background reads, After those field trips, we never felt the same way about history. The first museum. White text reads, Harbors Ferry, 30 years later. And on the final morning of the siege, the white flags of surrender went up, and the garrison surrendered to Confederate forces under Stonewall Jackson. Ranger Gunner, how do you know so much about this? Well, that's a good question, and I know you may not believe this, but it all started... Gunner points to his photograph. Right here. Right here. 
right here. White text on a change in colorful background reads Director Bronson Ballard, Screenwriters Taylor Edens, Kaylee Nichols, Storyboard Artist Corey Kirschmeyer, Videographers David Roller, Jacob Smoot, Film Editors Bethy O'Hara, Thomas Ott, Sound Slash Music Editor Gunnar Schropp, Costumers Cameron Becker, Jasmine Burdine, Kylie Day, Selena Stillians, Actors Kurt Acker, Julia Arganda, Tyrone Bowles, Garrett Damon, Aaliyah Getz, Talon Hill, Matthew Holmes, Ethan Howe, Bethy O'Hara, Kayla Rifke, Carmen Rogers, Gunnar Schrupp, Selena Stillians. White Text reads, special thanks to Ranger Creighton Waters for playing the role of Ranger Gunner, Mrs. Lamp for playing the role of the teacher and an awesome one too, Ranger John Hoptak and the other staff at Antietam National Battlefield for being in our film and allowing us to film there. The credits continue playing for several more seconds. Mm-hmm.